Ciao everybody, Katerina here. Welcome to my home. Um, tonight is, our, is my husband and I's Valentine Day dinner. On Valentine's Day, every year for the last 43 years, my husband and I have spent Valentine's Day with my parents. He's, he's incredibly patient and very kind and uh, a good sport. So um, this is why we're having, we're going to be celebrating tonight. And when we were in Venice, we had this marvelous dish that he absolutely loved. And it's gnocchi with a very unique um, lobster sauce. And I'm going to be preparing that uh, as a main course today. Now let's get started. So we're gonna start with preparing the gnocchi. So take two russet potatoes, large, boil them until the skin comes off and you can pierce a um, wooden skewer through them, you'll know they're ready. So what we're gonna do is, is we're going to put it inside the ricer and then just right through, that's it, that's all. It makes it nice and fluffy. Okay, so I'm down to the last slice of potato. I'm just gonna put one egg in the center of the potatoes and give it a really good mix. Now that the egg's mixed in, I'm going to add a teaspoon of kosher salt. One cup of all-purpose flour. And my gnocchi dough is ready. Now I'm just going to put some bench flour on my work surface. Okay, I'm going to cut my gnocchi dough in, in a third. Okay, so we're just gonna roll it out until it's about the width of a walnut. There we are. Now we're just going to cut them. Not very big because they will grow. I have my gnocchi paddle here. I purchased this in Tuscany. I'm sure you can find these somewhere here. So all we're gonna do is pinch down and turn. And there's your gnocchi. How oh, beautiful. If you don't have a gnocchi paddle, you can always use your fingers and a fork and just turn it with the fork. I'm just going to put plastic wrap over it and put it in the fridge. Three lobster tails. They're approximately 10 ounces each. And now we're going to start cleaning them. I'm going to hold on to the shelf because I'm going to be making a wonderful um, seafood stock. So my lobster is ready. Um, I've cut them into small bite-sized pieces and now I'm just going to put them in the refrigerator until I'm ready for them. So I'm just going to heat up uh, white wine ever so slightly, two and a quarter cups because I'm adding a little bit more than a pinch of saffron and I want, I want to give the saffron some time to infuse. You know what? It's Valentine's Day. Let's be a little generous. Beautiful. So we're gonna start with this wonderful sauce. I'm going to add about three tablespoons of olive oil. Add one large cleaned and diced carrot. One diced celery stalk. One diced red onion. One diced fennel bulb. Okay. One diced leek. Okay, I'm just gonna saute this for about 10 minutes until everything is very soft. I'm gonna add the garlic, two garlic cloves chopped. I'm just gonna let everything saute, all the shells. I'm just gonna let everything saute for two minutes. This is gonna make such a delicious broth. Uh, you see that the wine has turned a pink color. That's because the saffron has infused beautifully. Now I'm going to add it to the stew. Two bay leaves. Now we're just going to bring it to a boil. That it's come to a boil, I'm going to lower the temperature a little bit. All the alcohol has evaporated. And now I'm going to add one cup of fish stock. To let it simmer for 20 minutes. If you could only smell my kitchen. Oh my gosh, smells so good. And now all I'm going to do is drain it. We're going to start with the sauce. Um, a few tablespoons of olive oil, two chopped garlic cloves. And I'm just gonna add the lobster and saute it lightly. One cup 
cup of chopped tomatoes. Pepper. Salt. Two ladles of this delicious stock. I'm adding the gnocchi now. Okay, so now that the gnocchi have risen to the top, about a minute, took about a minute. Now I'm just going to add them to my plate. I'm just gonna add the gnocchi to the sauce. We're just gonna let everything cook together for a few minutes. It's ready. Now I'm going to plate it and my sweetheart is waiting for me. So good. so good. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will try this wonderful recipe. Happy Valentine's to you all. It's Katerina from my home to yours.